quote spreadsheet provides a high degree of flexibility in displaying quote data. Unlike the quote spreadsheet, you are not restricted to a single type of data in a column or to data for a specific instrument in a row. Welcome to an overview of CQG Advanced Quote Displays. We'll focus on the Enhanced Quote Sheet. This video details the features and functionality available in the Enhanced Quote Sheet. When it's first opened, the Enhanced Quote Spreadsheet displays numbered rows and at least one column header row that contains no text. Cells are classified into six categories, column header, row header, comment, symbols, empty, and value. As you work in the Enhanced Quote Spreadsheet, you'll notice tooltips that help you identify the type and contents of cells. Header cells are at the top of the EQSS and you can type directly into the cell. Comment cells work here just as they do in any quote window. Comment cells are a way to insert headings and subheadings that are not at the top of the Enhanced Quote Spreadsheet. If you type in a cell, the system will assume you are typing a symbol unless you use comment notation. Hovering your mouse over a cell will display a tooltip like this. Here, the tooltip tells us that this cell contains the bid price of the E-mini S&P. Enhanced Quote Spreadsheet Preferences control the look of the spreadsheet. Select or clear the checkboxes to show or hide grid lines, row numbers, column headers, and the title bar. If you click a cell and then press Enter, the cursor will change to indicate you are in edit mode. In edit mode, a right-click in a cell opens a history list that allows you to choose a previously entered value. To modify the header cell, click a header cell and type. You can also press F2 to open the Specify Column Header Contents window. Click a cell, type the symbol, and press Enter. Click a cell, type an apostrophe, followed by your comment. To enter data cells, right-click a cell, point to Edit Cell, and click Contents. You can also press F2. If you click a cell on a row that contains a symbol, then that symbol will be listed automatically and the field you choose will apply to that symbol. If you click a cell on a row that does not contain a symbol, then enter the symbol before choosing the field. Choose whether you want to filter the available fields using the Select Available Fields from drop-down. Click an available field name. Click the Apply button. Click the next cell you want to format on the EQSS. Click the field name in the list of available fields. Click the Apply button. When you have finished entering values, click OK. It's important to remember that there is no way to undo actions in an enhanced quote spreadsheet before making changes you are unsure of, you might want to save the page so that you can revert to it if necessary. Cut, copy, and paste work as they do in any other software. Right-click a cell, point to Edit Cell, and then click Cut, Copy, or Paste. Suppose you enter a long heading in a cell. You don't want the text to be cut off, but you also can't widen the entire cell. You can merge cells to accommodate the heading. Right-click a cell, point to Edit Cell, and then click Merge Right. Continue these steps until your heading fits across the cell. You can also press Control plus M. 
To undo the merge, right-click the cell, point to edit cell, and then click Unmerge. You can also press Control plus U. This concludes part one of CQG's Enhanced Quote Spreadsheet.